zum 20. Mal verleiht die Philips Uni und die Stadt Marburg eine Auszeichnung für international und national herausragende Kameraarbeit. Sinn des sogenannten Marburger Kamerapreises ist es, einmal jährlich die Leistung herausragender Kameraleute zu würdigen und den Blick auf die Kamerakunst zu lenken. Parallel dazu finden auch gerade die 22. Bildkamera-Kunstgespräche statt, bei denen filmstaffende Studierende und Interessierte zusammenkommen, um sich über die Bildkunst auszutauschen. Gewinner des diesjährigen 20. Marburger Kamerapreises ist niemand geringerer als Oscar-Preisträger Philippe Rousselot. Die persönliche Art des französischen Kameramanns mit dem Licht zu arbeiten, machte international Schule und ihn zu einem der einflussreichsten Kameraleute der vergangenen zehn Jahre, so die Fachjury. Wir von Campus TV haben heute die große Ehre, ihn interviewen zu dürfen. Doch bevor es mit unserem Interview losgeht, zeigen wir euch erstmal den Trailer des Marburger Kamerapreises. Film ab! He shot several films for Tim Burton, including Big Fish and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, teamed with Guy Ritchie on Sherlock Holmes and Sherlock Holmes' Game of Shadows, and collaborated with David Yates on Fantastic Beasts Where to Find Them and its sequel, The Crimes of Grindelwald. The one and only Philip Rousselot. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. You will be honored with this yes. year's Marburger Camera Prize. And have you looked around in Marburg so far? I uh, arrived yesterday afternoon, so we had a little walk uh, on uh, um, on top of the hill. Mm -hmm. the and, uh, castle. Yeah, and, and uh, now I haven't, we haven't been to the castle yet. I probably have a visit or um, get close to it on Sunday morning before I leave. Um, all right, it's very pretty. It's very very beautiful. So you would say Marburg is a good setting for a movie. I heard that very few film has been done there, which surprised me. Well, it surprised yes and no, because uh, as you know, now if you do period piece, it's almost impossible to shoot anywhere because you have to change all the, the, the ground floors, all the, all the shops and things. It's, uh, I mean, shooting, shooting period pieces extremely difficult. I mean it's get easier because you can deal, you can do visual effects now and uh, but still uh, it, it's, it's more and more uh, difficult as the well, all the cities and especially the cities we have a little tourist cachet you know they they move, uh, they open big fancy stores and things like that and then in the process they take out the, the authenticity of the, of the city. So it's a, it's a complicated process which we have to deal with every time um, we make this kind of movie and sometimes if the budget allows it we rebuild everything on stage. 
You studied cinema at L'Ecole Louis Lumière and graduated in 1966? Oh. Yeah, the school was not called Louis Lumière at the time. It was called, it was called by the name of the street where it was also called Vaugirard. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a terrible school. <laughs> <laughs> It, now it's a good school. I mean, Louis Lumière has gained, you know, the status of a of a of a good school. And and later on, when I when I was working, I um, I had um, interns from from the school. They were very good. They actually they they ended up being proper assistant in my in my department. So um, it's a good school. Did you have personally a certain inspiration? to visit the school, to start uh, your study with cinema? Was there uh, some inspiration for you to say, okay, now I'm going to study cinema? Yeah, no, yeah, but there was a decision I, I, I made when I was 11. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was a bit stubborn, you know. So you were... I, uh, I, I, I saw films and, uh, and I said, well, this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, And, uh, sort of and my parents say, okay, you know, when the kid of 11 year old say, you know, I want to be a, you know, a bus driver or I want to be, a, you know, president of the United States, you say, yeah, sure, go ahead, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so they, they, they said, okay, but several years later, they realized I I'd still had the same thing in mind, but then I was 18 or a so, or thing, and then uh, when I did, I, I finished uh, high school and then I, I passed the, the exam to get in that school and by some kind of miracle I, uh, I got in and that was it. Well deserved, you're the recipient of three César awards. Yeah. I hope this information is correct now, mm, yes, <laughs> this I time. I think so, you have to go back and check it. Like <laughs> yes, a British nice Academy. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, so three César awards, a British Academy um, Film Award, an Oscar as Best uh, Cinematographer mm -hmm. in A River Runs Through It mm -hmm. by Robert Redford mm -hmm. and now the Marburger Camera Prize as well. Yeah, <laughs> piling, piling up. <laughs> Do you personally have that feeling you uh, achieved everything you everything so far um, or is there anything else in particular that you personally strive for in your life now? I would love to have the Nobel Prize of Physics. Yes. <laughs> but it's not going to happen. <laughs> you do? Yes, me too. But <laughs> <laughs> This is a question I cannot answer. It's just, um, you know, it's not that I've achieved anything. Because, I mean, and, and don't mistake me, I'm very glad with the Cesar, the whatever, the Oscar thing. Like, it's very pleasant. It's great. It doesn't, Inside doesn't prove I've done anything, you know. It I was don't. not your main goal. Oh, it, oh, no, it's, it was never a goal. It's not a goal. It cannot be a goal. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, I call it collateral damage, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, it's something that if it happens, great. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't happen, great. Also great, yes. Because this is not, it, no, the goal is to make movie. The goal is to be on set and, uh, and picking up a lens and saying, okay, well, I want this and I would like to light the thing. That's the goal, that's the pleasure. When you end up the day and thinking, okay, we, we're going the right directions, mm -hmm. that's the goal. And, that's, totally and it stops there. I totally agree with you, but there are some, uh, sometimes, people who see this one as a goal. I started filmmaking because one day I will get an Oscar. I will get this, 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 this and this award. And that was the reason why I asked you, maybe uh, you see this also like this. Uh no, well, you know, I can tell you a little an anecdote, which is um, when, we, when we did Hope and Glory with, with John Borman. So uh, the film was nominated. Uh, I was nominated for uh, for the film. So we all went uh, to Hollywood. Um, that was the first time I really sort of stuck my nose into this this Hollywood thing, and um, we didn't get we didn't get it. Uh, and I couldn't care less because I knew I wouldn't get it. You know, because uh, there was the competition was very 
<laughs> there. <laughs> and at the end, I said, I, I said, John, but John, okay, we didn't get the thing, but in a year, everybody will forget who won. And John says, yeah, everybody will forget except your agent. We not. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, so it, it becomes uh, um, something that, yeah, if you get an award, especially, well, all awards, then your agent will mm -hmm. push up your, your, your thing. And it helps the career. I'm not saying it doesn't help. You know, peak, you know, producer, oh, we got, we got an Oscar nominated, something like that. It, it sounds good, but it doesn't mean anything, but it sounds good. So it, it, it affects your career. But as a goal, it's only a piece of, of metal, you know. <laughs> I totally and, and, and don't mistake me, I'm very happy that I, I had one. No, My father was very, very happy I had one, you know. Yeah. Uh, I believe you. Okay. An age of social media and related smartphone revolution, almost every second person calls himself as a filmmaker. And when I'm searching for something about the use of cameras, I come across very often the following sentence, gear doesn't matter. There is an order in things, you know. The, the, of course it matters because if you don't have any gear, you can talk about your film, but <laughs> that it, you can't show anything. So it would be stupid to say gear doesn't matter. It's not, you know what, I still wait for the time where I go to the cinema, I watch a film and I say, oh, this has been shot with such camera, such lenses. Okay, if it's shot with an iPhone 3, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, which I think is the one I have, or oh. maybe the two, um, yeah, um, I might, I might guess it's shot with an. But apart from that, I don't know what it's shot on. If the script is bad, if the actors are lousy, and if the photography you can't see anything, yeah, that that matters. But when I start a film, I insist on having such cameras, such lenses, because these this are the tools mm -hmm. I'm going to use. And of course, I pay attention to that. So it matters, but it's not the key thing. It's not because you shoot with the, let's say, the, the Alexa 65 that you're going to make a great film. Do you have any advices for beginners in the film industry? Don't do it. No, just... Um, <laughs> Um, you know, this is the kind of question you can only um, answer with, um, with jokes um, for two reasons. Um, my experience is unique as everybody's experience is unique. So don't follow my footsteps because you have your own feet and you follow your own footsteps. That's obviously for absolutely every professional thing like that. Um, uh, always wear good shoes and, and dress properly according to the situation because there's nothing worse than being wet and cold on a film set. Now, apart from that... Um, that happened to you? Oh, all the time, yeah. <laughs> No, and the, the, the actual period is so different from mine that my experience is not going to be repeated. Mm -hmm. And for the best, I mean, because, you know, the... the uh, I mean, there's a bright future for filmmaking yeah. in, in every country, so just, if you want to do it, just go. Just do it. Yeah. And drive through, go. <laughs> do it. Exactly. But I'm not going to say do this or do that or do films and put it on Instagram, which I don't even have. I don't have an account on any of the social me media. I'm, a, I'm already a dinosaur in, in, in this world, and I don't need it. But you know, you, you, you people, your generation, you know better how to deal with all that. Herzlichen <laughs> Glückwunsch.